A short story about what love is. Part 4. The Marriage Deception. Most people believe that marriage will fix everything. We want to believe that marriage means our mate accepts us for who we really are. And will love us forever. The trap we fall into is one of self-deception. Sometimes because we have been playing a role for so long. It no longer occurs to us that it is not honest. Other times because we believe that marriage means we will always feel the emotion of love. Most often, it is a combination of both. In both scenarios above, Noah and Olivia are in the same situation. And it is a situation that almost all marriages face sooner or later. It cannot be avoided, it is part of life. And it can be the bullet that destroys the relationship. When the feeling is gone, what will we do? This is a question that should be answered before any thoughts of marriage. It is a personal question, and often difficult to answer. But necessary if there are hopes for a long and healthy marriage. Let's break it down to make it a little easier to understand. 1. If I am angry with my partner, how will I react? 2. Do I value them enough to show affection even if I am hurt? 3. What will I do when I get bored? 4. Do I respect my partner enough to always be honest? Even if I am feeling disconnected from them? The action of love means you will treat your partner with respect. Affection, goodwill, and empathy, no matter how you may be feeling at the time. It is a decision that must be made deliberately. And something you hold yourself to even when it is hard. The power of understanding love as an action cannot be underestimated. It is what keeps people together through hard times. When a relationship is strained and we still feel loved. We can hold on to hope for a better future. And we have the strength to work toward that future. Our scenarios with Olivia and Noah could go either way. For argument's sake, let's take the first scenario and give both of them the deliberate knowledge of the action of love. As things get worse, and each of them continue to be surprised by the things the other has hidden, it becomes apparent that they are struggling. In an effort to show Olivia that he loves her, Noah buys tickets to a play she wanted to see. In response to the positive feelings she gets from his gesture, Olivia plans a picnic in the park before the play. The show of love each of them received did two things. One, it reaffirmed their commitment to each other. And it energized the feeling of love that they thought they lost. Two, the reappearance of the feeling allowed them to have an honest conversation. Which is the first of many. Because they went into the marriage with the knowledge that it would be work. And that loving the other was a choice. They work through the deceptions and clean up the relationship. After hard work and a lot of hurt feelings, disappointment, and perseverance. They find a new understanding and respect for each other. That sparks a new wave of the feeling of love. For the second scenario. Let's keep Olivia and Noah unaware of the differences between the feeling and actions of love. As time wears on, both continue to feel less and less in love with the other. Their attempts to communicate are usually filled with accusations and hurt feelings. They cannot understand what changed. And why they no longer feel good about each other. Olivia tries to connect with Noah by taking him to a play an action of good intentions. But directed toward making herself feel better, not showing Noah love. He goes but doesn't get any positive feelings from the experience. The discontentment goes on for years because the relationship was once solid. And there are activities that they enjoy together. They get little bursts of good feelings. But ultimately the marriage will fail. Because of the lack of understanding regarding feeling in love. Versus actively loving someone. Both Noah and Olivia feel betrayed because their partner no longer provides them those good feelings. And because they believed that a loving marriage meant always feeling in love. 
Ultimately, they begin to search for that good feeling outside of the marriage. And their relationship dissolves until there are no good feelings left at all. Divorce is imminent. Going into a marriage understanding what real love is strengthens the foundations. And allows us to enter the marriage without false notions. Of everything always being happy and joyful. It keeps us from being surprised when we must put effort into caring for our partner. And gives us the groundwork to remind our partners how we deserve to be treated. It helps increase our commitment by decreasing our false perceptions. But even that knowledge doesn't protect us from many of the circumstances. And actions that can cause a marriage to fail. Some of the more prevalent causes of divorce include. 1. Lack of commitment. Understanding love helps avoid this. But even understanding doesn't always protect us. From the desire to just quit when things become difficult. Strong commitment is a must for any marriage. The shared commitments to fix the relationship instead of throwing it away. 2. Unrealistic expectations. Unfortunately. It is hard to know what to expect from something you have never experienced. So unrealistic expectations of marriage are very common. The best plan to avoid these expectations is to talk to couples who have been married for a long time or speak to a marriage counselor before marriage. It is often the specifics that cause marriage problems. The repetitive nature of a relationship. The loss of passion unknown habits and other annoying things. Understanding that the feeling will not always be there is a good step to not holding on to unrealistic expectations. 3. Getting married too young. Many marriages fail simply because the individuals were not yet mature enough to settle down. Youth is full of exuberance and experimentation. We gain the wisdom we need to make a marriage successful through trial and error when we are young. Getting married before we have experienced enough of adult life gives us unrealistic expectations and builds resentment for our lost youth. 4. Arguing. Arguments will happen in every relationship. They can even be healthy. But arguments that have no resolution lead to divorce yelling at each other, placing blame and accusations, and expressing anger without taking the time to find a compromising resolution just leads to anger resentment and more tension. Arguments should be seen as an opportunity to communicate disagreements and find resolution, never as a way to vent pent up emotions at your partner. 5. Infidelity. The desire to be with another person is part of human nature. Being monogamous will likely be an effort at some point. And the temptation toward infidelity is often a reaction to boredom and or discontent. It is one of the hardest subjects for couples to talk about. But open discussions about the desire to be with another person can actually improve a marriage. If we share our desire to have a missing need filled by another person, it gives our partner the opportunity to fill those needs. Chances are it will be a surprise that someone is unfulfilled. 6. Inequality. The give and take of a marriage must be equal. If one partner feels the need to carry the other with no reciprocation, the marriage will likely fail due to resentment and feelings of being used. 7. Abuse. Too many marriages fail due to abuse. Abuse physical, emotional, or psychological, is unacceptable. Many men and women find themselves in marriages. They feel trapped in because of abuse. If you are being abused, do not hesitate. Go to the nearest shelter and get help. There are organizations all over the country designed to protect victims of abuse and help them start over. Marriage is a decision that will change your life forever. Whether it succeeds or fails. Within a marriage there must be communication. 
respect, trust, commitment, loyalty, and affection. We play relationship roulette in marriage in many ways. By lying, cheating, not communicating properly, or by expecting too much. Every marriage has a lot of bullets to dodge. But understanding what love means and standing firm in your commitment will help you keep your marriage alive and healthy. The story continues. Like, share, comment. Subscribe to Total Transformation Channel.